Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this logo. I asked them to. They posted it on Facebook and needed some help. And this is how it came to me. It doesn't look like it was in the picture. This is what it more looked like. I've already done it. And I'll actually send you this file when I'm through. Um, I know you're in a busy time of your life. But we can tell by the bounding box that is, the logo is big. So let's do this. Let's take a yellow box, make a rectangle, fill it with yellow, go to object order, back of page, and you can see that it's white. So we're going to have to go to object group and ungroup it. And now we can take this. Now, we luckily can take away, well, let's go here, group. Well, it is a, she, she said it was an SVG. And I don't really know. Um, let me get rid of that. Let me see if I can just select that. There we go. Now your white boxes just delete it. So there are some problems with the logo itself, but we'll go with this first. It's pretty small, but we're going to leave it small. But it's really, at first I looked at them, and we need to pick another mountain range. Um, that looks terrible, but it ended up working out. So we're going to go to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap, and we're going to convert it to black and white. And by doing that, the lines still look fuzzy, but luckily it traced real good. So we can make sure the black part is part of it, and it is. So we're going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art. And surprisingly, it traced it really good and actually smoothed it out the line. Now, I'm going to left-click, no fill. I'm going to right-click outline. And surprisingly, it's actually different than the way when I did it at first. So let me do this again. Let's try this. Let's take this, go to trace bitmap, outline, trace, clip art, and let's up the detail to 100%. And we're going to left-click, right-click, and I don't know why I'm getting those double lines. And there's actually a, a messed up line. I'm going to turn them into a hairline. And you'll be able to see it a lot better. And that's really pretty good. <clears throat> now there's a couple of things we can do. She is going to cut this out. I'm a little bit confused about the other part of the logo. So what we can do now is take this and go up to object or uh, group and ungroup it and try to grab that line. Sometimes lines are just there for no reason. And that looks pretty good. Now, I know she's gonna cut it out. So there's two things we could do. We're gonna do it twice. We're gonna make a rectangle. We're gonna take the smart, and if you're a laser engraver, turn your, uh, well one CMYK, but turn it to a hairline when you're drawing instead of 0.69 you'll be a lot happier. I'm going to take this and fill this in, and then I can nudge that out of the way. And let's nudge it out a little bit more, and then I can actually take this and fill it in. We didn't get that part because they're not connected. So what we're going to do now is back up, and let's take away the fill. Well, I've got a white box around everything. You don't have to hit your calculator. Let's take this and we're going to left click, right click. You see, now we've got a pretty good outline. But this part wasn't connected, but it really kind of is. So we ought to be able to take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. You know what? It was that white box that was holding it from Smart Filling everything. Now we can delete this and we can left click, right click, and there's your mountain range. Now th there's a spot that kind of made it different right here um, that I actually don't like over here. It's a little bit bigger. So let's do this. Let's convert it to hairline. That's what you're going to need to do to cut it out anyway. And if that looks good to you, leave it alone. If not, you can make this a little bit differently by taking your shape tool and grabbing a few nodes and moving it up, make it look a little thinner. Um, 
Because it's a mountain range, I don't think you'd have to, but you could take the smoothing tool, set on something low like 0.1, you don't want to get too big, click on your item where you can see the nodes and then just start smoothing it out. See the smoothness? You don't really have to do this because it's a you know mountain range with, uh, we don't want anything real little uh, when we're cutting it out to break off. So you could grab your shape tool and grab these two nodes and just kind of bring them down, making this space bigger. You could delete that node and make it a little bit more rounder. And like I said, because it's like snow on a mountain, let's leave it alone and I'm gonna call that good. Now you can make that range as big as you want. So let's take this and just get rid of it. And I'm gonna, young lady, I'll send you both. And uh, now let's take the Montana and you can see they're individual letters. So we're gonna take the whole thing and we're gonna left click, right click, and automatically we see there's something wrong with these parts. They're evidently, a, a, for some reason, you did it or whoever drew it, uh, drew it with a um, power clip. Now we've got some parts of the letter. So once again, let's convert it all to a hairline. It'll make your life a lot easier. Now we're gonna weld it, but we don't want this part of this T sticking past. So I'm gonna take the virtual segment delete key and just cut that out. The inside doesn't really matter because we're gonna weld it. Now, a lot of times when you select this, and if it doesn't weld, there's another option. So there's your text, but it didn't weld good. So let's back up here and let's try the other weld. So we can go here, go up to object shaping and weld. And let's see if it worked that time. Nope. So just take the virtual segment delete key and, and just go over it and get these lines. We want all this to be one piece. Now, uh, I would think, you know, that you would want uh, the A in there so it won't break off and it'll be easier to put together. So we're gonna break the curve apart and grab that piece, holding down the control button and just, okay, see what happened? I didn't grab it all, so the centers of the A's didn't come. But just take the hold down your control button so it's all in one line. Now let's try welding it again. And hopefully, nope. See, because we've done something uh, backwards. So just take your virtual segment delete key. And this will make it easier because I know she's going to paint this and then put it back. Now, as always, my nudge factor is still set at two inches, let's see how big this thing is. It's, well, we can go up. So I would take the Smart Fill tool and go up, and then that way you'll see if your font is all connected. We could actually connect everything to a, uh, just every time you do this, that's why I set my, especially if you're an engraver. <clears throat> and then we're gonna make it, you know, bigger um, like that. Now, the, um, the other, you know, if I, I don't totally understand if she's going to cut these out or not, but if we turn them into a hairline, they'll be little bitty pieces, and then we're going to work on the heart. So change this into a hairline. It's If you cut this out, uh, she said something about cutting out the whole logo and then painting it. So let's just get rid of these hearts, but let's make... I don't understand why somebody would power clip that and I'm not faulting you if you did it. Uh, let's go to common shapes. Your version might say basic shapes and go get the heart and you hold down the control button and kind of make a perfect heart. See, once again, I would go with a hairline and we'll go ahead and turn it red. And then because we have a nudge factor, we could set that heart right there, nudge that heart over, get rid of this, nudge this heart back and it's right where it was. Now we can do make a duplicate or hit the plus key. And I would hold down the control button and that way they're both equal. Then nudge it, get rid of that, nudge this back. Now this is only if you're gonna cut all this out. Um, and then you'd wanna make it the appropriate size. It's gonna have to be quite big 
uh, if you're going to cut it out, okay, there's something going on here because I can't grab it. Let's go back up to view and go to wireframe. See, it's not letting me grab it. And by, by, because we can't grab it, there's something there. Uh, I can't really tell it. I get each individual letter. Wow. So let's just do this. Our nudge factor is still set. Hit the M. Nudge it over twice, twice, twice. I'm just doing it twice because I'm not nudging it very far. Wow. Whenever you miss the, with well, the smart fill tool, it's going to do that. So let's try to get, now get these and nudge them over another time. Then just put that M back. And then the same thing on the, well, the heart we just drew, so we ought to be able to nudge it over. Nudge it over. Now let's see if we can't grab that. I don't know what was going on. See, it won't let me grab that. Let's do this. Let's get, let's nudge this way over. Nudge this way over. That is weird. So just take them individually and just delete them. And now the ones that we've smart filled, just left click. Right click, and this is only going to be if you're going to cut them out. You've got to make sure they're a hairline. Let's uh, nudge this kind of closer to the real part. Now, I think she was going to cut it out, paint it white, and then put this back. So if that's the case, this will work. These will be very little, you know, unless you, I don't know how big this is going to be. I mean, see, that's only four inches across. I mean, those little letters are going to be quite a bit. Maybe she's going to engrave this, cut the mountain range out. I don't know, but the, the letters are going to be really small. It can be done. Um, most of the time, stuff like this, it's going to f fall through your vector bed, and you'll have to somehow catch it. I did. I must have had my. Uh, yeah, I was using my lot parallel dimension. See, that's only five one hundredths of an inch thick. Um, that's really little. Uh, you know, my suggestion would be to engrave all this in black. and then cut this out and put it on top. <clears throat> but she mentioned something about painting it white, but it'll look pretty good when we, let's grab all this and take away the outline. That's the way it would look, and then you're gonna fill this in with black and paint it black and put it on top of the wood. I will send you both these, um, both these logos and, um, well, this one I need, I would need to fix the hearts. Um, but I think the mountain ranger is pretty much the same. That was the main objective. Uh, I'm just a little bit confused on the other part. So if you're going to, well, you wouldn't have to use this one. Maybe I'll just delete this one and just send you this file. But I would, you know, whenever I send people file, I don't mind them using them, but I'd really encourage them to, uh, if they want to use it, use it. But then maybe while the laser's running, try to, uh, practice and make it do this, you know, make it work. And, and then if the mountain range is a little bit too thick, I'll just kind of throw this in. Let's, uh, if that, if that ice cap is too thick, go up to effects because that's pretty good to cut out, but it might look better if we go to contour and let's contour the inside, probably 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. See, it's going to make it, I hit it twice, and and then go up to object and break the contour part. And then you've got a thinner ice cap that might look pretty cool both ways.
but I'll send you I'll send you this exact file and you can take it from there. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.